My name is Rudolf Steiner. I work for a paper company, mostly doing paperwork about paper. <laughs> You're probably wondering, for the paperwork, does he use the paper that the company sells or some other type of paper? Well, maybe you're not wondering that, but that's about as exciting as my days get. I'm stuck in a bit of a rut. Some days I just want to have an adventure, you know? Something that matters. Something that actually feels worthwhile. Oh, I don't mean an adventure like those artificial adventures in those movies nowadays. No, no, no. I mean a real adventure. Something unknown. Something exciting. Maybe even dangerous. And that may lead somewhere. But then again, it may lead nowhere, you know? Some people might say it's fate that puts these opportunities in your lap. I say it's God. It's that still small voice that says, do this. And you say, why? The voice says, trust me. Well, on that crisp winter day, as soon as I left work, I knew I was supposed to go take a walk downtown. Don't ask me how I knew. It's just that still small voice again. Here you go, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir. This... This is the card that guy gave you over there, right? Yeah, but I already have a dentist. Keep it. There you go, sir. Did I? Well, who wouldn't? You try going without eating for three days and you see. What? Uh, hang on, I'll be right back.
So I bought I bought food that you can I can make something like a sandwich with bologna and, and cheese and mayonnaise, and we could put some eat some pickles. I don't even know why I got pickles. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so I got I got bread, so we can make sandwiches with bologna and mayonnaise, and um, just help yourself to anything here on the counter in the bag. Just uh, I'll, I'll cook us up a sandwich. Uh, that is, of course, if I may invite myself over as you guess. Of course. So, how, how did you come to not eat for three days? Oh, well, I had a job that didn't pay very well, and, well, my last paycheck went to paying the rent for this place, and then I lost my job. I just, I don't know what I was going to do. To think of you going through all that something fierce. And so you have no family or friends in town? Nope. Not until tonight. Yes, well, I, I should probably get along. Uh, thank you for inviting me as your guest uh, tonight for dinner. This is, uh... Miss. Miss Franklin. Miss Franklin. Okay. But, but please, call me Annabelle. Alright, Annabelle. And, and I can't thank you enough for your generosity, Mr. Steiner. It's Mr. Steiner. Thank you, Mr. Steiner. But you can call me Rudolph. Thank you, Rudolph. Good night. Good night. I'll come back tomorrow to see how you're getting along. Can't get rid of me that easy. Okay. Well, good night. Good night. Rudolph? How did you come to knock at my door? You might say it was a... Still small voice. Good night. cards earlier and I was just wondering what they mean and why you gave them to me. Oh, uh, right there, sir, across the street. I heard it's a first-rate play. Uh, you'd better hurry, though. The first act's going to be almost over by now. Yeah, the, the proprietor of that theater gave me a, a little extra to hand out some of his cards with those of the dentist. Can I offer you one of the dentist cards, sir? You know something? I think God is just waiting for an opportunity to surprise us with what he has in store. If we just trust him enough to embark on the adventure he sets before us. Sometimes they may seem strange or even impossible, but God's plans are so brilliant, they'll, they'll blow you away. You just have to be willing to take the card, follow the adventure, and, and knock on the green door.